We are on the go with Joe and today he is getting dazzled by dahlias. The colorful flowers are on full display in a big celebration in Canby. Joy joins us live with more from Canby. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, good morning, Nora. We're back with Heather Schlow once again here at uh, the Swan Island Dahlia Farm hosting their annual festival. It starts this weekend. Uh, Heather, once again, you have what, 370 different varieties? Yes give or take uh, and so it's spread out you can see the massive fields here but new this year is their kind of showcase garden where you can see every variety there uh, basically filed alphabetically I did walk them between our last segment, so I've literally <laughs> seen every single kind of flower you have to offer now a couple things I've learned here uh, dahlias they come in big sizes little sizes different shapes different colors all sorts of things people can obviously learn about them maybe take some home so I want to talk about the, the big guys that you have right here because you know, you can see some are, you know, you know, more average size, some are smaller than this, but then you get these great big ones. Are they, is it any different if you want to grow some of these great big kind of eye-catching dahlias in your backyard? It's really not any different. It just takes longer for them to bloom. Okay. So dahlias are sun-loving plants, but then they are loving of water. So they need deep, deep watering now, on a regular basis. This is not any old dahlia can grow this big, right? I mean, it's just the certain, the certain, certain varieties. varieties will grow as big as your head right essentially. exactly okay so <laughs> you guys i'm always you know kind of amazed by this because you have new varieties every year how does this work exactly how do you come up with the various different varieties whether they're big or small or yeah that sort of so thing? it's and bear really, in mind i know nothing about science yeah that's or okay. botany or any of that stuff most new varieties all come from bees cross-pollinating ah, so okay. when an old bloom or a bloom gets older the bees are inside here where the pollen is and they're going back and forth then we pick seed from the varieties that we like, and those are considered the mother plant, but we have no idea where the bees have been. Ah, oh, okay. So they've cross-pollinated, and when you pick an old seed pod, if it dries up in about October, you can pick that seed pod, and there will be seed in it. If you plant those the next year, so you don't know what you're going to get. You're going to get anything it's just, and everything. You're pulling them. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. We plant about 15,000 seed every year, and five years later, we can introduce about 10. Wow, okay. So most are junk. I mean, you know, yeah. they can be wildflowers. Some people love it because you never know what you're going to get. But some are missing petals, some are short, some are weird, some have weird stems. Well, these are all um, the keepers that you're seeing yes, right here, right? These, these are, are the not keepers. the ones from the blooper reel. Uh, <laughs> and you can see them live here uh, once again. The uh, festival is the next two weekends. Remember, remind me the times of when can people come out. I know you always have, like, food vendors, and there's all sorts of stuff for people to enjoy while all they're here, All kinds of right? activities, yeah. So we are Saturday, Sunday, Monday, both weekends, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Food, live music runs noon to four, different band every day, check it out. Um, yeah, good food. Okay, Beer, as always, wine. we'll have more information at kptv.com. Of course, Swan Island Dahlias are not on Swan Island, they're in Candy. Where else would you expect them to be? <laughs> uh, we're we're going to have a lot more from that uh, coming up in just a bit. Nora, let's send it back to you in the studio.